Welcome to Mike's Man Cave and welcome to my seven day carnivore diet update. Today is the 7th of January and I started my carnivore diet on the 1st of January. As you may or may not be aware, there's a lot of interpretations out there of the carnivore diet and some people are more strict than others. Some people advocate just beef, water and salt. That's it. Whereas other people will go any sort of animal product, meat. Some people will have milk and dairy as part of it. I tend to stay away from the dairy side of things, mainly due to the high carbohydrate content and a lot of the dairy. So I'll tell you how I've been going quickly. I've been good. Um, I've just been eating whenever I'm hungry. I've stuck to beef pork, chicken, I did have some fish, uh, mainly been drinking water, well pretty much been drinking water, I've been using mineral water. I have added a little bit of lemon squeezed into the mineral water, not a lot, I haven't gone overboard on that. I have had some apple cider vinegar in my morning water at times, I haven't actually had it every day like I said I would. I thought I would have that big glass of water every morning but I haven't actually done that, I've had it probably about uh, three or four times I think off the top of my head and the other days I had a coffee. I've discovered something Aldi keto friendly coffee and I've done a review on that stuff and I'll put the link to that video down below in the description box. Now like I mentioned in my first video coffee is not a hundred percent keto uh, well it is keto but it's not a hundred percent carnivore and like I said there's different levels of strictness within the carnivore diet. I'm sort of on the intermediate to stricter side of it, where some people are on that side. You know, there's a big spectrum, like I said. Beef, salt and water, and then there's people that have dairy, honey, and various other things. I've stuck with meat and water, a little bit of lemon squeezed into the water occasionally, not all the time. And I have been having a keto coffee most mornings. Well, probably about four out of the seven days, I think, I would have had a keto coffee. And I haven't really had any black, plain black coffee since I've discovered the keto coffee. Now, how strict you take this is up to you and what your goals are in this diet. Now, let's get to the bit that most of you people are probably most interested in. How much weight have I lost in the last seven days? And I actually surprised myself Without ever going hungry, without starving myself, I have lost 6.8 kilos. That's nearly one kilo a day. Not quite, just under. So I'm very happy with that outcome. I've still got a few more kilos to go, I think. But 6.8 kilos in seven days. That is pretty good. Now, I'll bring up the exercise before I finish off the video. I have been doing... In that seven days, so I had four weight sessions, four gym sessions in this gym right here. I did not go for a walk every single day. I did take the dogs and the family out to the beach one day, which was more than a 30 minute walk. We walked for a good hour. Then I have done some cardio exercise in here, and it's just been very basic star jumps, um, just walking around and basically just getting my heart rate up a little bit. And the 30 minute walk I've probably only did three times out of the seven days, not counting the day out on the beach. So there you go. Okay, my exercise is pretty basic. It's half an hour to 40 minutes in the gym here, lifting weights. And I'm using a split weight routine that I might do another video on if you people are interested. So if you're interested in my weight lifting routine, leave a comment down below and let me know so I can make a video. I don't want to make a video if it's just going to be a waste of time and no one's going to be interested in it. If you have any questions on the carnivore diet, do me a favour, leave a comment down below and ask those questions. I'm happy to make more videos, okay? These videos are very easy for me to make and I'm happy to make more videos sharing my experience and my limited knowledge on this subject. 
Okay, carnivore basically means an animal that derives most of its nutrition from animal products. Now, how far you take that and how strict you become will be up to you and realistically dependent on the goals that you're trying to achieve with your diet. You know, some people might be trying to help cure their cancer or serious metabolic issues or liver problems or heart problems or blood pressure problems or diabetes, okay? So those people will have different goals or different ambitions to what I've got or what you might have, okay? So do your own research if you are interested. I am only just doing these videos to document my results and my journey within this carnivore diet experiment that I'm currently doing. Now also for those of you wondering about some of my reviews and energy drink review videos that I've been releasing while I've been doing the carnivore diet, all those videos were recorded back in December. I've got a few more actually already recorded that will be uploaded over the next couple of weeks. I did record those videos in anticipation of doing the carnivore diet for these 30 days and I wanted to keep those people happy that are here subscribed to my channel for energy drink and other review videos because I know there's some people here that really enjoy those reviews. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favour, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and... Bye for now.